Hi and welcome to my little tutorial. We're going to start here by taking you to uh, a site that offers templates. And basically what this tutorial is about is going to show you how to work with various templates. If you uh, should purchase a template to create your new website, uh, you're going to have various files that you can download and open up. And let's say you select a template like, uh, say something like this here. Now this is a flash template and um, as you can see this is a flash template there's a lot of things moving in here a lot of things that you can do if you do purchase a flash template such as this it will more than likely come with a Photoshop document and that's what we're going to be doing with is working with Photoshop templates so here we have our template that we downloaded and if we go over you will be able to uh, well that wasn't nice so if you go over in Photoshop CS or you can uh, probably open these up in 7 CS2 CS3 what you want to do is you want to get into your layers area okay, you see here's where all the layers are in the template and uh, sometimes you get templates that are named properly and sometimes they are not so you have a Here's a background copy. If you turn this off, you will see that the image disappears. So basically, what you're dealing with is a bunch of complicated layouts here in Photoshop. And this is really a great way for learning Photoshop. But an easy way to go in and just deal with your template is you don't really want to go through and, and try and find what belongs where. Photoshop makes it easy if you just click on your type tool and say you highlight the area of the text that you want it'll take you to that layer and that's what makes it so easy and templates are very easy to deal with so you can go in and uh, change the text however you like there I just changed that text if you hold down on your command key you'll get a bounding box you can make that text uh, as big as you like but just drag that out you'll get two arrows drag it out there you go so now you have it bigger if you don't like the text you can highlight it and go in here and you can pick a new sample of the text that you like I have set my font display to be large because it it works better to see what you're gonna get so here's our new sample and there's our new text and everything's done so uh, so you can move these items around now you know exactly where you are because since you selected that text Photoshop shows you here it is there and it's also linked to this end now what is that end is that little graphic there see now you can take that graphic and you can tell these two items to be unlinked then if you take that end you can do a command T on it for transform and you can make that thing bigger if you want it bigger you just make it larger hit enter there your transform is done so now you're finished with that or you can turn it off the same thing with the text tool is you can go in and you can change all of your links to be whatever it is you want maybe you don't want a main page or about us or a portfolio or services and usually a lot of templates will have this type in here lorem ipsum delore okay which is just a placeholder for you to put whatever you want you could basically highlight that area now if you try and highlight and you get a box basically what Photoshop is trying to do is put new text there so just hit your escape key and um, now make sure you click somewhere in the text there you go now the text is highlight which means it's editable once the text is highlighted you know you can edit that you can double click in the box and that will give you what you want it if you don't want to use that go back to your move tool to get off of that or hit your escape key again if you want to change some graphics you can uh, go ahead and turn off various you have shapes you have various background colors those are usually near the bottom so here we have that you see this this is a light you can see this area here let's see if I can make the uh, the palette options you can make these as big as you like so that way you have really big thumbnails so 
if you like to see what you're working with you have a big thumbnail you can you can turn this off and that will take off that little layer there and you can take this off and that should hide something see it, it just shows you what's hidden there so when you turn off these little eyes for your layers you have to watch what's being deleted or what's not showing up if you like you could basically go through and uh, you can turn everything off so what we'll do is we'll change the palette options we'll make this real small easier to deal with and what you do is you click on the first eye hold your mouse down and drag all the way down and all those eyes will disappear and basically what will happen is all this stuff will start being de-skinned you'll end up with nothing but a background when you remove all these visible items okay we have one here that's grayed out uh, because it's linked it's in a set copy it's in a folder when you have a folder you can basically turn everything on and off within that folder with just one click and obviously it looks like these are just those little dots which is fine we'll turn those off so this is how you get your way around in a template a purchase template uh, I would highly recommend flashwebservice.com they have a lot of nice uh, templates there which is where this template came from and as you can see now we delete everything turn everything off everything's going away so now we're here with the basic bare bones and then you can pick and choose what you want so you don't have to use the template as it started we go in the history here and you will see that we started with open and this is where we were and then when we edited text it turns off all those layers so you can go ahead and do whatever it is you like so now we have basically a few items left we turn them all off and there you have it just your basic background but as you click through these layers you'll see what it is these layers each layer individual layer does you can play with them one at a time and this is a basic way of learning Photoshop and working with templates okay so I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of working with templates especially if you purchase a template uh, flash West service offers a lot of great templates there and uh, stop on by and we like to see whatever work it is you do if you uh, do buy a template and, and rearrange